All right, so I just aged you because I said your senior season was eight years ago. How long ago does high school feel to you? Oh, so long ago. <laughs> so long. Uh, you're um, using your COVID year this season, your fifth mm -hmm. year. Uh, um, when did you decide that you for sure would be back and playing basketball one more year for BYU? Um, I don't know. We, you know, the season ended. Um, he made me beg. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Yeah, we, uh, the season ended and, you know, my wife and I talked about it. We thought a lot and we're like, hey, um, one more year, Big 12, like, that would be a really cool way to go out. So, yeah. by, by the way, um, shout out to Izzy. She's your mm -hmm. wife. You've been She's married. here. Where is she? Where is Izzy at? Oh, yeah, right behind she is. Hi, Izzy. Uh, you've been married almost three years? Almost three years. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and uh, big yes. <laughs> but, but we have uh, additional applause-worthy news uh, because in a month, you guys are having your first baby, yes. right? Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it, it's really insensitive to ask this, but are you planning it around games? How's this all going to work out for you? <laughs> Tell the whole thing, man. Tell the whole thing. It's complicated. It's complicated, yeah. <laughs> so uh, Utah, they won't. We have an induction scheduled, but they only let you do it a week before the due date is, right? And that day that the week starts, we take off to Kansas for six days. So he either has to come early or late. But if he comes during that week, we'll see what happens. <laughs> and Coach is smiling too. We have many, many yeah. contingency plans, travel plans. So nope. Izzy. The real MVP. <laughs> we got Jets yeah. on standby. Yeah, well, that, that's fantastic news. That is so cool. Um, and uh, do, you, do you already know if it's a boy or a girl? Are you going to wait and see? Or? Little boy. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Okay. But we're 20, we're uh, actually hoping for a bigger boy, Izzy. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, no. <laughs> I heard he has a scholarship. <laughs> yes, he does. Yes, he does. <laughs> uh, you got names, or are you going to wait a little bit on that and not put anything out there? Yeah, I and mean, I think you got to meet him first. So uh, Okay. We'll do see. not see what he is. say names. We'll see. That's the biggest <laughs> Cosmo. No, no. Cosmo. <laughs> uh, this is a kind of a cool fact, too, um, about Spencer, is that uh, you have two Division I siblings right now, don't mm -hmm. you? No, they're at the same school. Tell us uh, what they're doing. Yeah, so um, my little brother, little sister, both play at Utah State. Um, weirdly, they're both taller than me. I'm, I'm not the shortest. My older brother's shorter than me. But... They're both taller than me, and uh, they're loving it up there. And Isaac's been uh, starting a lot of games for Utah State, yep. and, and Gracie is, uh, is, is, is it's her first year with them? First year. Yeah. yeah. So she's, and she's gotten into a bunch of games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very, very cool. I, uh, I, I don't know how. I mean, you might be the only brothers at uh, different D1 teams that are both ranked in the top 25. Could be. Uh, yeah, yeah, in I the bet poll. that's yeah, actually that's true. Probably, right. probably yeah. the only two in the country. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. I like that. And when, you, when you say little brother, it's little in age because he's, he's considerably he's taller. 6'11", 7 foot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Big dude. Yeah. Uh, you got to play, well, BYU got to play against Isaac uh, one year earlier, a couple years yep. ago, BYU in Oregon, right? Yeah. Yeah, we played against him up in Portland at the uh, uh, Trailblazers Arena. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and we smacked him. Are you yeah. laughing because BYU won no, by I 40? No, I just know he was so him. happy you brought that up. He's yeah. like, yeah, let's talk about <laughs> yeah. that. It was his first year back from his mission, so he didn't play a whole ton. Um, but he got in. We got to play against each other. But, yeah, we, we popped him. Uh, does, the, does the name Alexis Yetna mean anything to you? No. Alexis Yetna. Mm -mm. Alexis Yetna uh, plays for Fairfield, which is another Division I university. He's not played this year because he's injured. Okay? Mm. But he's the only guy in Division I older than you. Really? Yes. <laughs> Yeah. So everyone keeps telling me I'm the oldest. But, yeah. Uh, Technically, you're the second, but of the guys who've played this year, you're number one. But there's a dude named okay. Alexis Yetna who's older than you by two months. Okay. So as soon as he gets on the floor, you lose your distinction. But as for the time being, but I keep telling people he might beat, but you don't look like you look so young. You know, he's fresh faced, isn't he? He's just a kid out there. Uh, do you do you wear that as a badge of honor? Are you do you not like talking about it? Do you care? Is it just one of those cool things? Um, I was actually joking with some reporters earlier um, in the week or, you know, and they're like, how does it feel? And I was like, oh, man, dream come true. Like, it is my little kid dream to be the oldest player in college basketball. Everyone shoots for that. Couldn't have gone any better. <laughs>
<laughs> and Trevin, I think, is like in the top ten. Like, because mm. he's, he's up there too. Yeah. And he gets one more year as well if he wants it too. To I know. Come back. We, we laugh. He might be answering yeah. your questions Trev, next year. Trev looks much older than Spence, though. <laughs> yeah, clearly. <laughs> you can do that without what you'd please. <laughs> I don't know how to play that. You, you've, uh, we, I think we discussed this last time Spence was on, but uh, you'd, you'd been. You'd recruited him before, I guess, is the best yes, way to yes, put it, right? Yes. Well, the truth is, is that, um, so I recruited Spence forever. And he told me no, and then he told me no again. And then he said, kind of, maybe I'll come check it out. And then was like, no again. And then he was, you know, was fine, and everything was fine. And then he met Izzy, and his whole life changed, and he became a basketball star. Like, that's really true. Mm-hmm. Isn't that really mm-hmm. true? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's really true. So thank you, Izzy. Yes. <laughs> You said it would be cool to kind of go out in a Big 12 season, and you're now six games into a Big 12 schedule. Um, your thoughts on being, being in this league and, and uh, how it's making maybe everyone on BYU just be better, play better, and, and be more competitive because it's just so competitive. Yeah, it is awesome. As a competitor, as a basketball player, you know, all of the games you see on TV are like Big 12, top 25 games. So. To be out there playing against these guys, to be seeing it, like, it's so fun. So fun to play against uh, this type of competition. You got to uh, be a part of BYU's first Big 12 home win mm-hmm. uh, nine days ago against uh, against Iowa State at the Marriott Center. You scored 28 points, one of your best games as a Cougar. Just uh, maybe thoughts on on getting that win, how big it was for this team to get, you know, to do it in front of the home fans, too. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> we always want to protect our home court. We talk about that all the time. This Marriott Center is really, really special to us. So to go get a win like that, you know, against a, a really, really good defensive team, and um, it was awesome. Spencer's a really, really good defensive player, too, isn't he? Maybe you could talk about him as a defender. Yeah, he's, he's got uncanny closing speed. It's unbelievable. Uh, you know, he's as good as anybody in our league, probably at chasing guys off screens and kind of finding a way to uh, weave through things and be there on the catch. And uh, he's got a really great, his closing speed allows him to be disruptive and make positive plays, like game changing plays on the defense fan. He's been terrific that way. Um, the change in the charge block rules has taken away one of his, like, <laughs> go to. Uh, you know, defensive uh, specialties, but he's, he's, he's been a mainstay for us for forever now. Uh, you still do pregame speeches, right, with your guys? Have you had one or two this year? I've had one, yeah. Yeah? What's a Spencer Johnson pregame speech like, Coach Pope? Mm. <laughs> Spencer is exactly what you'd expect. He is, uh, is even-keeled and solid and unflappable, and then he'll just give you a little bit more emotion than you anticipate. It's pretty beautiful. <laughs> when it's time for your, when you know you're going to have that, what goes through your mind? Like, what do you, what do you kind of turn to? What do you, what do you want to? On the pregame speech? Yeah. Oh, man. Um, everyone is so different. Like, every speech that each guy does is so different. So, I don't know. Just stay true to, to who I am. I'm and actually not in charge of the pregame speeches anymore. Eagle oh. is now. So, Tanner Hayes Tanner is Hayhurst. taking over. Mm-hmm. And for the first time ever, he had Melvin Goins give the pregame speech. One of our GAs. How good was that? It was way good. He was quoting scripture. He was giving us <laughs> quotes from famous yeah, he was uh, good. people in history. Like, he crushed it. Yeah, maybe at some point we'll get, we'll get Mel and the GAs yeah. on the show. Mm-hmm. Hopefully we do at some point. But that's actually a great point you bring up. Because uh, Melvin, I mean, I, I guess I'm old enough that I remember Melvin as a player. Yeah. And, and he was a heck of a player yeah. at Tennessee. How did you end up getting uh, Mel to come to BYU and help as a GA, by the way? Well, we, 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 we have, that's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> We're just excited to have him. We're really glad to have him here. What does he do for you guys, uh, Spence? What's, what, what's his involvement? Because now that you brought him up, he's such a cool yeah. part of the team. Oh, yeah, he is super cool. I mean, so he runs scout for us. He runs the scout team. Um, Talks a ton of smack. Yeah. Uh, so has team. enough game left, he's obviously. He's super shifty with yes. the ball, man. That dude, is he's, he's still got it. Um, you know, on the sidelines, he gets our bench going. So um, if you see us in the game, our bench will be, you know, doing chants or whatever, and he gets that going. Um, and he's always just chirping in guys' ears like, hey, you know, this is what I'm seeing out here. This is what you should do, stuff like that. So he's super valuable. Okay, you've had so many special nights in the building, and even though this last game against Houston wasn't a win, that was Marriott Center magic, right? The yeah. vibe you felt had to be in the second half, right? Totally, totally. You know, we talked about that as a team when we're like, it was disappointing that we lost to Houston, um, but we were down, you know, double digits multiple times, and we came back, 
and we fell back again and we came back. So, you know, to play against statistically the number one team in the nation like that and give ourselves like so many chances to win is, is really encouraging. Like we were balling. You know, two of the two of the very best defensive teams in the country are, are Iowa State and, and Houston. I mean, T.J. Otzelberger, since he's been there, had never allowed 87 in a game. You guys scored that. Yeah. And the 68 you got against, that's the most they've allowed in a game yeah. this season. 25 field goals is more by three than they've allowed in the game this season. You've played really, really good teams and kind of done a lot of what you wanted to do. Yeah. Even, even though it's a split in those two games, how encouraging is that, that, you know what, we can play these really, really tough teams and still be us? Yeah, it's super encouraging because we're right there. I mean, we had – we had a couple chances to like really take control of that game and, and to take a lead. Um, the shots didn't go down or whatever, but like, you know, we're right there and that's super encouraging. Uh, would you pick out a highlight or two of the season so far? There's more to come, big yeah. games to come. But what would you say has been kind of like things that stick with you so far this year? Um, just our resiliency. Like we knew coming into this Big 12 that it was going to be really tough, that uh, we were going to win some games and we were going to lose some games and, and just – we have to stick together through the whole thing. So that has been super fun to just be like, how are guys going to bounce back and, and how are we going to stay together and keep the mood good and positive? So just some stuff like that. Um, and then maybe as far as a game, the win against San Diego State at home was pretty fun. That was a fun one. Early in the year. And another yeah. highlight hopefully comes up Saturday. Tough Texas team coming to town. Yeah. They look good having won back-to-back -back games. And who doesn't look good right now in the Big 12, right? Seriously, it's going to be a battle.